are an experienced team, we work together, we know what each other's roles are, and we know what's expected of each other. Hi guys, it's Foxglove from Team Burn, and today we've got the call-outs for the map Standoff. Now, Standoff is possibly one of my favourite maps in this entire franchise. I think it's really, really good. I like the layout of the domination flags. I like the fact it's a mix of close quarter and sniping gameplay as well. And a knife and a shotgun that can actually do quite well in this map. So, um, welcome to the series, guys. If this is your first video, please check out the rest. This is episode 12, and... Uh, we're going to show you around this map and give you some call-outs which will hopefully help your gameplay. So, starting with the air domination here, uh, we're going to go straight down the main street. Now, you've got air dom and you've got B domination. Now, B domination um, is very open. You've got quite a lot of cars. So, if you're going to be capping the B flag, my recommendation would be to blow these cars up first of all. Or, bait the opposition into getting it, and then uh, or getting on it at least, and then shooting the cars it is quite a good tactic that and uh, again we'll cover it in our in our how to open series but uh, it is a very good thing so we've got uh, we've got big domination there now this map there is a lot of big sort of call outs but there's also more of them so for instance tank tank would usually be a really good call out but there's two tanks so it is quite difficult sometimes so in here uh, we're going to call this church because it is a church and we've got a church uh, We've got the church churchyard. We'll call this. Now this is one of the hard points. Um, if you do play a hard hard point as a rare uh, as a game type, so you'll need that call out. You've also got top church, um, which is a, a nice little. You've got quite a lot of lines of sight over things. Now again, I love this fact that they put stuff like this in just to stop you having eyes over B. Otherwise, it'd be a much much more powerful point. But I really do like that. I really like the map design in this game, guys. It's fantastic. So. Through the back way of church, and you've got here, you've got petrol station. The petrol station all through here. And you've got... In here, I think we're going to call this warehouse. So you've got warehouse. So petrol station, warehouse, and we're on to the sea dom, sea domination site. Again, lots of little head glitches, lots of places for cover. I'm liking it. Again, try to blow the van up before you get it if you can, just in case there's a spawning aid that gets you. Now, um, in here we've got C building and C sniper. Now, sniping on this map is really good because you can see all of that uh, building over there. You've got a nice little lot of people head glitch behind that you can get, and you've also got eyes on B if you uh, if you need to. Hence why I said blow up the cars because that's uh, if you can hide down there, you can cap B quite easy to blow them cars up. So, um, do try and take them out if you can, guys. There you go. And back through here. I think we are actually going to call... We're going to call this one here... Um, statue. We'll call this... We'll call this call out for this tanky bit. And this general part of the map here, statue. And you can go through the back way here to the A. And we're going to call this tank now i know there's more than one tank and i might confuse people i don't know the call outs but you haven't really got much more of a choice really unless you just want to disclude this tank altogether and just call it a dom that's up to you now you've also got as you did with the c you've got the a building and you've got top a or a sniper which again quite a powerful position in this map because you've got the air flag there and uh, you've also got this oh let's call this pizza shop or kebab shop yeah, kebab shop. Oh, kima kebab. Mm, biryani. Oh, get in. Make me mouth water already. And uh, you've got some doner kebabs there. That's quite cool. I like it. So, yeah. Um, call that kebab shop. And uh, come around the back way here. You've got, obviously, a petrol station. There. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if that's expensive or not. But uh, what are you going to do? We are uh, near enough 20 years in the future. Well, 15 years in the future, I guess. So, uh, who knows what petrol prices are going to be like, eh? So yeah, uh, very simple, quite a very small map this. I mean, the running position from, from your home flag to the B is extraordinarily quick. So um, so be very careful of that one, guys. My recommendation would always be get on the B flag first in this map. If you try to bait them, uh, the likelihood is they might get it every now and again, and you, you can't really risk that in their domination now. So 
so yeah i hope these call out videos have been helpful this has been a really really short one but we'll go around the map again just uh just in case so you've got the c building and upstairs you've got top c or c sniper coming down into the c flag and up here you've got warehouse and petrol station around the back here so C onto warehouse onto petrol station onto and this is the pizza shop or kebab shop you've then got I never get this like I never ever be able to get it now nah. you can get through that wheel window if you're skilled but I can't manage it and then you've got uh, air domination Securing alpha. you've got top A or A sniper A building at the bottom you've got tank actually we're gonna add a we're gonna add another call out here let's call this tractor let's call that tractor then you've got statue B domination you've got churchyard and church So guys, I hope that's really helped you out with the, uh, I, hope, I think that's a church. I'm not entirely sure, but it's going to be a church for our purposes. So I hope that's really helped you out, guys, in your call-out videos. As I say, use call-outs whenever you can, especially if you're in a team. Now, um, I do have a little bit of a tip for you that I've just found out today, which is, you know if you get a UAV and counter UAV up in the uh, up in the sky, you start getting um, score points for your team members killing people? I didn't realise it, I didn't notice it, but... That only counts until your first death. So if you get a UAV up and then die instantly, you don't get any score from it if people start killing things while you've got it up. Now that's quite weird, isn't it? So uh, so yeah, just thought I'd share that with you because it's something I haven't noticed. And uh, hopefully, guys, we'll, uh, we'll see you in the next episode. Thank you very much for watching.